Hi, Tim Sandal, back with you again with another look into the world of clean rooms. And we're going to have another look at gowns and gowning, um, because that's obviously a really important contamination control measure. Um, so the first point is, and I'm making my usual three points, is why gown? Well, we gown because we are a major source of contamination. And it's been estimated that we shed millions of skin cells every day. And around 10% of these are thought to be carrying microbial particles. And this 10% that do carry microbial particles, there's estimates that they carry around four different organisms per little piece of skin matter. Most of these are common skin bacteria, but they can include spores and some fungi as well. And here's a electron micrograph of a piece of skin and you can see some bacteria, rod shaped bacteria and a few spherical or cochoidal bacteria on that shot of skin as well. So it gives an idea of the um, microbial challenge that, that the surface of the skin can produce. Um, so my second point is you know, why do we want to wear clothing properly. Well we want to control our breath by filtering it through a face mask. We want to make sure that the hood is secure into the gown because otherwise we get a thermal jet, it's like an air current that eludes from the back of the neck. We want to make sure that we're wearing suits of the right size otherwise we get a bellowing effect every time we bend down or move around. And also we want to make sure that when we are um, breathing properly that um, we're not then pushing the air elsewhere and we're getting air blasting up through our collar. We also make sure that we're not uh, emitting particles from the fabric. So the fabric needs to be made in a special way which is tightly worn and it's kind of like a what's called a mono, monofilamentous uh, polymer, 100% polyester. And this is designed through a particular pattern to ensure that contamination um, stays firmly in. We also want the gowns to be non-shedding. We want them not to be uh, have a static charge, otherwise we'd be pulling particles towards us. We want to make sure that they're comfortable to wear and that they can be sterilised repeatedly up to 50 times. So that, and that's without a loss of properties. So that this is the whole basis of the relaundering process. Okay, so my third and final point is well, what does good gowning look like? Well, it's no exposed skin. It's a for an aseptic processing area, it's a complete one piece suit with a hood tucked in, wearing appropriate gloves, the face mask, the goggles, very important to get that complete enclosure there with um, sterile goggles, a gown that's um, sterilised, and one that's changed for every entry and typically there's this maximum wear time of not more than four hours. Okay so we've looked at some key gowning points um, but there are obviously some key aspects from um, gowning procedures so I'm just going to run through some of the things that I think are most important in terms of gowning procedures and I'm going to do that very quickly and I'm going to do that in the spirit of a slight um, homage for anyone who's familiar with um, Bob Dylan. So I'm just going to dive into the um, kitchen. See you in a second. Bye.